fellas, I'm sneaking around the Dark Magician Discord late at night after work, and look what I've stumbled across. My man, Bet Matcha, has told me we have a combo that gets to basically VFD. Now, it's not VFD, but it's Winda, and I know you guys already know that we like to play Dogmatica with Dark Magician. I haven't done it for a while, but it's overdue for a return. So anyway, apparently Rod and Nadir, and any way to get to Dark Magician makes Winda and summons Black Chaos Max. Now, if you haven't read Black Chaos Max, here it is on the screen right now. This card is f***ing insane. Apparently, we have a way to turbo this out. Turn 1, that's 75% consistent. Where did you say this? 75% consistent. Only good going first. All right, I've been sent the combo. This hand works. Let's go. All right, Rod is going to search secrets. Soul sends Dark Magician, link into Artemis, link it across Sheep. Ecclesia is going to add Maximus, banish Artemis, I guess, for Maximus. Yep. Herald and Alkalone. We're going to be adding Schism and Chaos Max. He's going to discard Eternal Soul, but swap it for Effect Failure. We're going to set the three cards on the opponent's turn. Eternal Soul, summon Dark Magician, tribute Maximus, add Rod back. Secrets. Secrets sending the Dark Magician and the Ecclesia, summon Dark Magician of Black Chaos, Max. Uh, cross Sheep then triggers, causing this draw two, discard two. And then Schism for Window. Huge. Now I'm not sure why he didn't just tribute. When this card is special summon, tribute a monster opponent can't activate monster effects this turn. Like, I would have just tributed the Cross Sheep, but I mean, Cross Sheep's pr actually, no, you want to keep the Cross Sheep, I guess, because I guess this card's kind of useless, hey, after it's done that. It's kind of just a 2800 beater. Oops, you actually put a description of everything in the chat in case we get lost. So, he does mention that we go Chain Link 1, Cross Sheep, Chain Link 2, Chaos Max, and Chaos Max will tribute itself for cost. That way we're playing around Imperman Droplet. And now I understand why you want to tribute itself. That is big. That is big. Like, yeah, you can still get Gamma, but I don't think you worry about fucking Gamma at that point. I think he's got the exact perfect idea there. I'm wondering if we can go Chain Link 1 Chaos Max, but I don't think we can. I think Cross Sheep has to be Chain Link 1. I think it's mandatory, and that's okay. Because otherwise, why wouldn't we just do Chain Link 1 Chaos Max, tributing itself still, and then Chain Link 2 Cross Sheep? I, I guess it's only Gamma we have to worry about, but... So then they're locked out of Monster Effects. Oh, you should do chain. Ne next thing he says, you should do chain link one. Chaos Max play around game. Okay, so you can, you can do chain link one. Cool. Rod tributes Winder. Oh yeah, you could always tribute Winder to add Rod back to hand. That's always nice. And yes, you do need Dark Magician for the secrets to work, unfortunately. But um, that's fine because Magician of Black Chaos Max is a level eight, so we'd always have to use Dark Magician and something else. So using Ecclesia, I think, is fine. Well, I'm super intrigued by this combo, uh, and we've actually got sent another test hand from Bet Matcher, so let's just go through it. So we are using Small World and Nadir Servant, just to confirm we get to the combo pieces, and I don't think that's too bad. I don't like Small World, but Punishment is a good card. Oh, sorry, uh, Nadir is a good card, but, you know, Punishment also a good card. So yeah, we're going for Maximus. Oh, lordy, lordy. We've got to the Dark Magician, so the Secrets can now activate. Yep. Oh, that is nasty. That is... That is actually quite crazy. Dark Magician of Chaos Max. Oh, that's not its name. But you know what I mean. Ka we've got Chaos Max plus Window. Plus follow-up for next turn. Like, obviously there's hand traps to be played around, but still, this is impressive. Tracoon Imperial Order Eternal Soul. Holy shit, that was a good hand. Adding secrets. I really like adding secrets with Nadir. It's actually synergy. I love to see it. Lena the Light Charmer. You'll love to see it. Yeah, we're getting the Schism back from the Construct. Cool. And we've got the Chaos Max. Every time I say Chaos Max, people think I mean the Blue Eyes one, I'm like, the Dark Magician one is cooler, alright? 
Now they're both pretty cool. There it is, the Chaos Max. I think he only, I think he only tributed one thing there. Oh no, sorry, he tributed Ecclesia and Dark Magician. It was just going really fast. That is pretty fucking sick. Well, thank you to Betmatcher for sending me this content. Like, this is incredible Dark Magician content. And I've always wanted to make Chaos Max playable in this deck. I've always struggled to find a way. And I think you've kind of nailed it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking into this. I hope you guys too. If you find anything cool, let me know down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys next time. You know what's really cool? If this Chaos Max stuff doesn't work out, let's say you get Ash Blossomed on your Nadir Servant or your Ecclesia... Uh-oh, whatever will we do in a Dark Magician deck? Well, first you're going to make your Ecclesia into this with your other monster. Then I'm sure you knew what was coming. But think about it, that's such a great idea. We can go for this play to set up Chaos Max, and if we get negated along the way, fine, we're just going to go into Anaconda Dragoon.